Hi, today I would like to present a poster of research article titled Transgenic Focal Sensor Plant Respond to Gamma Radiation by Reporting DNA Damage which authors are Yen Hui Peng and Estra from Department of Science and Oak Ridge National Laboratory in USA. First of all, I will introduce about this poster. Nuclear power plant accident that causes radio radiation contamination could impact the human and environmental health. The direct effect of radiation to any organism is DNA damage. So the evaluation of toxicity and potential mutagenicity are important. Therefore, photosensor is needed to detect environmental contaminants and pathogens. DNA repair defective mutants transgenic plants are more sensitive to radiation exposure and have higher chance of accumulating mutation. And this will cause expression of marker genes that encode fluorescent protein decrease under radiation stress. The objective of this research is to design and test radiation phytosensor transgenic plant utilizing DNA repair deficiency mutants. The methodology of this article can be separate to two main parts. First generation of JP transgenic plant. Mutant lines of arbidosis AT-ATM that are hypersensitive to gamma irradiation are used to generate GFP transgenic plant by fluoride method. The mutants are driven by cauliflower mosaic virus 35S promoter and nopalin synthase terminator. The wild type and mutant arbidosipsis are seed in the water and plant in the growth chamber in this condition. T1 and T2 are screened and self-pollinated and T3 homozygous plants produced are used for further analysis. Second part, radiation dose and environmental stress experiment. GFP transgenic plants were transported to ORNL for COBAS-60 radiation treatment with 0, 1, 5, 10, and 100 doses. After one week, GFP expression in young leaf were assayed using an epifluorescence microscope, RT-PCR. RNA was isolated from leaf cell, and cDNA was synthesized using specific design primer and reverse transcriptase. An RT-PCR was carried out in an appendrox master cycle using gold type green master mix to assay for transcriptional change of the reported genes. Surveyor nuclease mutation assay was also performed in the, uh, in the thermal cycle to better understand mutation. Plant uh, and plant were exposed for one week to a suite of environmental stress and their seeds were plant planted on MS media for salt, heavy metal, and chewing stress. For my part, I will explain about the result and the discussion of this research. Under building a radiation sensing plan using the loss of function strategy, tDNA insertion mutant ATATM is chosen as the reporter transgene host designed to serve as the radiation sensor in which radiation would give attenuated GFP fluorescent. Based on this figure, we can see the loss of fluorescent over time as the DNA damage accumulated in the transgenic plant cell. Next, this figure shows that the development of growth of a uh, mutant plant was practically affected by the 100 gamma dose. After one week post gamma exposure, the fluorescent was significantly reduced in the mutant background plant. This every result indicates that the focal sensor plant have potential to sense radiation dose and act as the indicator for potential biological effect of radionuclide contamination to organism. Based on these two figures, a second possible mechanism could be transcriptional or post-transcriptional -trans gene silencing. This non-coding RNA might be highly transcribed against the G GFP gene resulting in transcriptional silencing. For focal sensor deployment scenario, many other factors such as heavy metal, UV light, and other antibiotic stresses could also damage in the uh, DNA implant. GFP synthesis in sensor plant was not affected by salt, cold, or heavy metal treatment. GFP transgenic plants are being generated in six additional genetic backgrounds that have various DNA repair deficiency, which also be similarly assessed. Except for the focal sensor implication, this plant could also be useful to study the basic biological effect of low-level ionizing radiation. That is all from us. Thank you.